Another instance of violent crime playing out in the city of St. Louis. A man shot and killed on the city's north side. Investigators say they found a man around 11 o'clock last night on Peggy Court near Riverview. And so far this year, homicides in St. Louis are up 40% over this time last year. And for over a year now, you've heard about the Cure Violence program that's been put in place and are, you're probably wondering, is it having any impact? Well, Russell Kinsaw is live in Walnut Park with some of those answers. Russell? Yeah, right now I'm in front of the Walnut Park branch of the library on West Florissant. Walnut Park is one of three neighborhoods where cure violence is now up and running, but that's only three out of 79 neighborhoods in the city. And really, it's only been operational for about three and a half, four months. But it's already providing some hope that in those neighborhoods, soon they'll see change. You can't even come out your house without hearing gunshots. Wesley Bates lives in the Walnut Park neighborhood and is hoping the cure violence program will make it a safer place for his son. Cure violence, if we can get them in our neighborhood over here, where it's kind of bad, it, I think it'll make a difference. The Urban League got the contract to run the program in Walnut Park, but it wasn't till August. Then they had to hire and train the violence interrupters who had to be from the neighborhood and have street credibility. The program wasn't operational till January. So we've had the last two, three months heavily, heavily connecting with the community. It was a slow start, but Dr. Mulligetti Telefari with the Urban League says nothing is more important than building trust, which takes time. Now violence interrupters are in beauty salons, barbershops, and gas stations. And then they just stand there, meet people, introduce themselves, and anytime they see a little friction, they're in the middle of it. In the Walnut Park neighborhood, there have only been two fatal shootings since January. One, an accident. The other, a dispute between a brother and sister. Dr. Tafari believes the program has made an impact. If we prove our impact right here with Walnut Park, then to extend that throughout the city, imagine how many businesses want to come to St. Louis. But the scope of cure violence is very small, and it's not foolproof. There have been murders in the other areas that the program is operating. But Wesley Bates and his neighbors finally have some hope. We just want to try to get our neighborhood back like it should be. So this national program does have a proven track record, but being only in three neighborhoods, at times it might be hard to see just how much of an impact it's having in the overall scope of crime in the city. But the hope is this program will actually really show it does make an impact and it works and then it will be expanded and the impact will be much more significant. Live in the West Walnut Grove neighborhood, Russell Kinsall, New York.